Hello everyone and welcome to Usidility. Today we are going to see how to play Harry Potter Magic Awakened on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Harry Potter Magic Awakened and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Harry Potter Magic Awakened. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all folks, to get started we need to launch our favorite browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen. There is no need to type it, simply because I added the clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We ended up right here on our website of Usitility, at which we include a detailed information on how to download and install Harry Potter Magic Awakened on laptop or computer. We search down a bit and then click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we land here on the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we are going to run to enjoy the game Harry Potter Magic Awakened on the PC. It is now obvious that we get a great deal of pros of preferring this emulator. So we will proceed to download the Harry Potter Magic Awakened by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green. The step is clicking on this button. And the download starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. What we are going to do is to launch the executable file. Okay, then we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We clicked yes. I minimized the browser to see the installer significantly better. The installer is really simple. It includes two choices, install, and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does. We basically just simply click on it. And so we observe that we have here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be placed. If we wish to change for better this directory we are required to click on this browse option, and therefore we pick another folder and set up the emulator wherever we like. To keep it simple, just leave it as it is. Then, I click on back. So I click on install. Voila! The installation commences and it will go forward in the download of those megabytes which are displayed on our computer screen. After you save it on your computer, it could possibly be a bit more or less MB. The data transfer rate might go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, determined by your type of connection and according to the speed capacity of the emulator servers. Now they are working superbly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has been launched on autopilot. As you can observe, down here, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right then when it reaches the finish, the emulator will be started for the first time. The truth is the emulator has already been launched, here for the first time. Before we carry on, as you can see, it made two software icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon is going to be the one we're focused on. Each time we choose to launch Harry Potter Magic Awakened on the desktop or laptop, we double-click this specific software icon and therefore use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we do the next phase, that is a requirement, and this is to access the Google Play Store. And we will click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is launched. There we have got to log on. At this point when we are on this page, we must definitely do this next step that is definitely imperative. Therefore just click on, sign in. At this moment it says, checking info. It may occasionally get blocked in, checking info, and it fails to move forward. If that's the case, you can try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will usually be fixed. At this moment we are going to type in our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. For instance you could use the very same email address you use currently in your YouTube account. Thus I will type my details and I'll go back as soon as I have done it. Voila! Details entered. Discover Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We are going to consent to them by just clicking, I agree. Following, it offers us to backup to the Google Cloud. You can also let it checked and this will create a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you can use that option if you prefer. We click on accept. Google Play Store is launched without need to open it manually and instantly. To set up the video game, we need to get to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on that app icon designated green colored. At present that we are watching the desktop of the emulator for Android, we observe that we have now right here the install game option. We click on this button. Listed here we get the game. Why don't we then click now on the install choice that I'm presenting now in green. That click will begin the installation. 
At present it is going to install the Android game, it may take a bit of time or perhaps it could also be very quick. That all is going to depend on the connection to the internet. It's actually completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by hitting this button that I'm emphasizing in green, in order to use Harry Potter Magic Awakened for the first time. We're already on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're on the way to click on that new Harry Potter Magic Awakened software icon that was provided. This game is launched for the first time on your device. So there we have it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should comment on the sound level of the emulator. It's right here. We have the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this way we don't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of this emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we could switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This one is the first one, we mouse click on this particular software icon that I'm pointing out in green color. Thus the screen is maximized, having one border on top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. In the event that we want to play the video game using all the screen, we press on this application icon. And we'd by now be experiencing the Android game in full screen setting. To exit the complete screen setting, just click the F11 key. And we might just be in regular display screen mode. At present, I am starting to show you the computer keyboard mapping that is definitely very enjoyable. This step we will probably be ready to make use of the game app a lot more effortlessly. The very first point is to click this app icon. It's now time to complete the required controls. I'll go ahead and leave the standard configuration, though if you really want to improve that, you can easily do it now with no problem. Obviously, the emulator is totally in our language. On occasion it happens that your emulator is started in the wrong language, such as, in Chinese. And then to set it in the correct language we browse here to the cogwheel. Then here throughout additional controls, we mouse click on the language drop down. We could go with the language we want, German, Mandarin, and so on. After the language is decided, we could save, the emulator will reboot, as well as the video game, next time we start it, will of course be in the picked language. At this point, there is another point that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive an email saying that a different electronic device has been connected with our own Google account. It is going to question us if we're the people who have associated with that device. Of course, we must not get worried, considering the fact that emulator is behaving like in Google Android tablet or smartphone. In order to see which electronic device is currently being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Be sure you go here to the, model, option. And right here we learn that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for this video user demo. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that you thought it was interesting. In this case, allow it a nice thumb up, subscribe, and if you have remarks, concerns or ideas, let them in the comment field down below. Just click any of those online videos that are showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the future instructional videos. Bye.